Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Wyatt, and today I'll be teaching you how to script a light switch on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So all we have to do is come over to the light switch, click it, and the lights turn on, and then we click it again, and the lights turn off. Okay, so now that you know what this script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So the first thing that we have to do is create a building for us to actually put our light switch in. Uh, and I actually already have a building model that can be linked in the description, but I'm just going to paste that in. All it has is four walls, but this could be any type of building that you would like. Now what we need is the actual light switch itself, the build of the light switch. So I'm just going to create a part. Uh, and we can move this down underneath here and we can put it right up against the wall uh, And let's actually let's let's get a light in here This will be the main light that we have that will turn on and off But this will also help us while we design the switch so if we just have this light above here All we have to do is add a surface light and for the beginning example that I showed I had the range set to 60 on this light and the face was at the bottom, but you could have this light wherever you want because this script just changes the brightness. So that looks pretty good. I think that looks like the room is pretty well lit up. Uh, now we can actually make the switch. So this switch actually will have a feature in it where we can make it so it toggles on and off and it looks like it rocks back and forth. But if you, you don't have to do this part if you don't like to. It's just for a little bit of extra aesthetic. Uh, so what we can do is we can set the color right there. We'll set it to a light gray type color and We'll clone this part right here, and I'm just gonna size it down a little bit. I'm gonna size it to uh, Let's size it to 0.8 and now if I move this down We can make it so it fits Right inside just by sizing it once again, and we just take a little bit of size off the y-axis So maybe we can set it to 0 1.4 uh, yeah, I think that actually looks pretty good. Uh, and now if we just extrude it out a little bit in that direction and change the color, you see we have a light switch. Now, I'm going to do, for this example in this video, I'm going to do the rocking feature so it'll go back and forth as you turn it off and on. But you don't have to do this. If you don't want to, all you have to do is create one part, but we want to do the rocking, so we have to create two. So we have one for the off position. This will be the off light, so let's just name it off. Uh, and then we'll duplicate this, and then we'll rock that in the other position. We'll change the orientation, and then this will be the on position. Now we're going to set the on position transparency to 1 because we want it to be off at first. Uh, and we're just going to group all these parts together. So we group the back, the on, and the off. And we will just name the back part, we'll name it back plate. And then we'll just name the model light switch because we just want to have it nice and organized. And now if we head into the game, let's just check, I'll put a base plate down, or I'll put a spawn pad down, and let's just check to make sure that this actually looks like a decent size. Um, and again, if you want to, if you want a smaller switch or a bigger switch, it never hurts to adjust it, the script will still work. Uh, so let's just check that out if we're in here. Oh, we have to anchor it, that's my bad, I forgot to anchor it. Uh, all we have to do is anchor that, and then we anchor the part up top, and then we head right back in, let's see. And it should be in a good position. Um, yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I mean, maybe it's a little big, but we can always change that down. And the one in the description is a little bit smaller anyway, uh, if you'd like to use that one. So now what we can do, so we have our light. And this is just a, um, this isn't a visual representation of the light. This is just an invisible, an invisible part. So you can set the transparency to one. And then you can have visual representations down here. So you could have any type of light you want, but this part is what's actually emitting the light. So now we actually want to make it so the light works. We want to script it. So what the first thing we need to do is create a click detector under the light switch so that we know when the player clicks on the light. Uh, and then now we need a script that actually gets the click. We actually detect when the player clicks. So we have a script. We're just going to name it switch script just for everything to be nice and organized. Uh, and the first thing we want to do is actually have a reference to that click detector. So we'll just say local click detector equals script.parent.clickdetector. And then after this, we want a reference to our light. We don't want a reference to the light part, which so it's right here. We don't want a reference to this part. I'll name it light part, but we want a reference to the light inside of it because that's what we'll actually be changing the brightness value on. Uh, so we'll just say local light equals game.workspace.lightpart.light. The surface light, 
And then from there, we gonna, we're gonna have two variables. We're gonna have a light on variable. So if the light goes on, this variable will be set to true. If it's off, it'll be set to false. And we'll have an in progress variable, and this will prevent people from spamming the light. So you can't click it 100 times and break the light. You can only click it once it's done turning on or it's done turning off. Uh, and then from there, we can actually get into handling the click. We can hook into the clicked event. So we'll say click detector dot mouse click, and then we'll connect that to a function just like this. Uh, and then the first thing we need to do is we need to check if in progress is false. As I was saying before, we don't want people to be able to spam the light. So if in progress equals false, if the light isn't being turned on currently, if it isn't fading in, because we have that little animation, if it's not fading in, then we want to say it is fading in, because after this we're going to actually make it turn on. So we'll say in progress equals true, just so we have control over that. Um, and then from here, we want to check if the light's on or if the light's off. Because it's only one switch, we need to see if the light's on, we want to turn it off, but if the light's off, we want to turn it on. So let's say if light on is equal to false, then we'll do whatever code. So we'll say print turn light on. Otherwise, we want to print turn light off. Uh, and then from there, we can actually run the code that will turn the light on or turn it off. So what we need to do is these next two lines, if you want to do the animation with the switch so it rocks back and forth, then you write these two lines. And if you don't, just don't write these lines. Um, so what we'll do is we'll say script.parent.on. So script.parent.on, that is this right here. It's the on position of the light. Dot transparency equals zero, so that means it's visible. And then we'll say script.parent.off.transparency equals one, so that means it's invisible. We could do this with rotations, but I'm trying to make this as simple as possible, so we're just gonna have two separate parts. And from here, we can actually make it fade in the light. So the way we're gonna do that is with a for loop, and we could use tweens, but a for loop's easier in this situation. So we'll say for i equals one comma 10 do, so this means it's going to loop through the code in here 10 times. And then inside, we're going to say light.brightness equals light.brightness plus 0 0.1. So that means if we're doing this 10 times, 0 0.1 times 10, that's 1. So our end brightness is going to be 1. If you wanted your end brightness to be 2, you could increase this to 0 0.2 each time. Or if you wanted it to be a little bit slower, you could put this number at 20. Uh, and then from there, all we have to do is put a weight. We have to say weight 0.05, just so that it looks like it's fading in. So it's not just instant, like it goes through all the numbers, it goes through the loop super fast. We do need to have that weight. Um, and then after that, the light would be on. So we need to set our variable light on to true so that our code knows that the light's on. Light on equals true. And we can actually head into the game. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually turn this light off because we do have the light off variable set to uh, false when we go in. So let's just head in. And right now we should be able to just turn the light on. We won't be able to turn it off yet, but as you'll see, see, we can turn the light on. So now all we have to do is make the code that does the opposite, it turns it off. So I'm actually just gonna copy the code that we had right here. And all we have to do is say print turn light off, we have that. And now we want to say on dot transparency equals one. So that light part right here, the toggle part, we want that to be invisible, the on one, and we want the off one to be visible. So we'll say script dot parent dot off dot transparency equals zero. So it looks like it's actually toggled off. Um, and then from there, we can keep the for loop. And all we need to do is since we're decreasing the light's brightness instead of increasing it, we just change this plus sign to a minus. And then we just need to say light on equals false because it's not on anymore. Uh, and then if we head in the game, we can test this out one more time and we should be able to turn it on and turn it off. Just like this. Oh, actually, what I forgot to do, I forgot to do one more line. And sometimes you'll forget things like this. You have to set in progress to false at the end because right now we're saying in progress equals true, but after the light's already finished turning on, we want to set it to false again because we want the user to be able to turn the light on and off. Again, we want them to be able to continue the cycle. So we have to have that line right there, my mistake, in progress equals false at the end. Um, so let's go in, we can try it. The light goes on. 
and then the light goes off, and that switch is rocking back and forth. And if we spam it, you'll see it'll only turn off and on. It's not going to turn off and on every time. It's going to wait for it to be done and then do the next action. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the pasted link with the code and the Roblox model link in the description of this video, and I'll see you guys later.